Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey guys, it's Dana showing up and showing out. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the collective with me, Spirit, and we want to know what you know. What do you know about us? And what do we need to know and understand about ourselves, our lives, and our futures? Spirit, what is coming towards us? What do we need to look out for? What do we need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do we navigate uh, the coming situations and circumstances of our lives for our very best and highest good? Please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top, Spirit. What is it that we need right there to know and understand? All right, let's do it. Let's go. One, two, three. One. Yeah, two, three. All right. Ooh, fulfillment of wishes on the bottom of the deck, followed by new beginnings, followed by harmony, and followed by patience, and then temptation. How could we not take all of those? Those are all majors except for one on the bottom of the deck. Well, that will make hella sense to us in a minute. All right, first card out is the chariot. Wow to spiritual strength, fantastic. Deception and envy with the seven of swords. This is the nine of wands, by the way. And recognition and reward with the three of pentacles. The hermit with trump nine is solitude. Obstacles and challenges with the five of wands. Spiritual union with the two of cups. And heartache and loss with the three of swords. Let me move my drink real quick. Okay. All right, guys. All right. All right. We're going to do we're going to do one more row. Uh, triumphant success with the Ace of Swords, choose wisely with the 7 of Cups, accelerated motion with the 8 of Wands. Woo, look at that in the world. The closure of a cycle and strength. Absolutely freaking phenomenal. All right, let's make some sense out of all of this and see what this message is trying to convey to us today. All right, so triumph with the seven of Trump, which is the chariot. Tell me about this, please. The king of swords, some kind of decision or thought pattern, uh, possibly the legal system. Let's see. Spiritual strength, with the nine of wands so resilience persistence pushing through what is spiritual strength here what is this about justice in reverse okay all right an injustice of some sort spiritual strength and injustice uh, the page of wands to the seven of swords, deception and envy, um, excitement, enthusiasm, a message, a message, a message. Yeah, look to the ace of swords in reverse, something that you're not seeing clearly. The three of pentacles, recognition and reward to yet another three of wands. Um, this is having some foresight, preparing uh, getting ready, so teamwork, collaboration, having some foresight. I think this is someone flexing their muscles here. That's what I think this is. I think this is about someone that maybe for the first time, maybe not, but maybe for the first time is actually consulting their soul 
in some kind of big, huge decision-making process in their life. It's, it's fabulous, okay? So triumph with the chariot, right? This is triumphing. The chariot is seven. It's about reflection, assessment, observing your own motivations, and doing something about it. Okay, it's rolling forward. It's doing something about it. You're going to triumph because you are going to do something about what's about to unfold here. Okay, what's what are you going to do? Well, the King of Swords, you're going to disseminate. You're going to slice and dice and disseminate and get to the truth of something. You're going to point your mind in the direction of understanding your intuition, and you are going to make a solid, solid decision to the world. This cuts you loose from a this cuts you loose from a current cycle and puts you into a new phase, a new chapter of your life. To the Hierophant, and it is um, the Hierophant is about you understanding and discerning what the universe is trying to tell you. And the Hierophant is about com uh, commitment. It's about your belief systems. So it's about committing to a belief system. Like I said, someone here is really, really, really putting the wood to the fire and using their spiritual spirit bitey side of themselves instead of their flesh human side of themselves because we have spiritual strength with the nine of wands right here and spiritual strength with the nine of wands right there this is about resilience and persistence spiritual strength resilience and persistence this person is contemplating and reevaluating the a decision making process that they would have in the past otherwise just simply acted upon but this person is exhibiting spiritual growth and spiritual strength to consult with their intuition about a very big offer that is being made to them Okay, what's, what's going on here? Well, this offer that is being made to you is um, deceitful. It's not true. There's something shady about the offer that's being made to you. How do I say offer? Well, the Page of Wands, okay? So the Page of Wands is enthusiasm, excitement. It is um, um, a message, an interaction, a a, a, an energetic exchange with someone and it is rooted in deception and the ace of swords in reverse says you're not going to see it and unless you tap in to your gut power okay you're not going to be able to see it there is untruths associated with this offer justice in reverse um, and it's not in your best interest it's not in your best interest it's it's not something that you should do and you would be not holding yourself to a level of accountability if you did engage with it because the level of accountability is your spiritual strength it is triumphing over over something that has um, possibly kept you stagnant in the past it's the turning over of a brand new cycle and it is your spiritual wisdom and your spiritual growth that you are going to depend upon to guide you through this situation what's the offer about the queen of pentacles um, it could be an offer of money it could be an offer of security it could be an offer of a job it could be an offer of being the wife to someone the caretaker of someone it could be an offer from your mother it could be um, it could be a lot of different things but it is an offer that would elevate you somehow some way in your life unless it's an offer from your mother, okay? Recognition and reward with the Three of Pentacles. This offer, this person that is bringing you some kind of news of some sort, 
um, it, they're t they, they, they are, are recognizing you for some kind of gifting, talent, or ability that you have. And I think that they're going to use compliments um, to ensnare you into this thing. See, they're going to try to play to your ego to get you to agree to engage in this. But what they don't know is that this person, the person I'm speaking to, has disconnected from their ego and has found satisfactory results in consulting with their soul path over what their human understanding of fulfillment is. Interesting. The three of wands, preparation, foresight, have some foresight, eight of pentacles in reverse, that your expectations in this situation will not be met. Okay? All right. The hermit. You're gonna, you need to sit down. When this happens, okay? When this happens, now that you know this, now that you have this foresight, Okay, when this offer comes that appeals to your ego a little bit because somebody's giving you some kind of kudos, you're the best ever, blah, blah, blah. You're the best ever at blah, blah, blah. You're the best I've ever had, blah, blah, blah. The best of blah, blah, blah. You're going to be all puffed up and be like, ooh, yeah. Yeah, they think I'm the best at this. They think I'm the best at this. Hop into this hermit energy right here and do a little bit of soul searching and introspection. Uh-huh. Do a little bit of soul searching and introspection to the king of pentacles, the ten of wands, the sun, and the fool. Because your soul searching, your getting in touch with your soul is going to guide you in the direction of your best and highest good. Your best and highest good hardly gets any better than the King of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Sun, the Fool, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? I mean, it really doesn't get much better than that. All right? Ten of Cups, the be-all to end-all, happy, happy, the sun, happy, success, vitality in your life. The fool, brand new beginning, brand new journey. What is that saying? Well, that's saying that if you will pause, check your guts about this situation, you will be leveling up in your spirituality. You will, because like I said in the very beginning, I think this is someone who is just kind of trying all this out right now. And they've been listening to Dana on the Gypsy Psychic Tarot channel, <laughs> harping and harping and harping about how to follow your intuition. Your intuition is your soul speaking to your consciousness. Your intuition will lead you and guide you and show you the way every single time. It is your true north. And I think this is someone um, that is uh, in training wheels right now. And this opportunity comes that they'd really like to engage in, but they're going to check their spidey senses, their intuition. They're going to ask their soul what it's in their best and highest good. And their soul points them in the direction of their best and highest good. That's why obstacles and challenges is here, right? What's the obstacle and challenge? Well, six of pentacles in reverse. Greed in the sense of well-being. I want what I want what I want. Uh-huh. I'm going to give and receive and share in the prosperity of life with this situation right here. And I want what I want what I want. Temperance in reverse. Talks about being at that place, right? The, the, the warning place. The woo, woo that you hear in, in inside of your guts, those red flags, right? Instead of saying, well, you know what? No, this is going to be awesome. You take a step back and you're like, all right, spirit, source, universal energy. What is in my best interest here? Uh-huh. And that temperance card represents that turning point, okay? To the hermit. And you do some soul searching and some introspection. And what you find out in your guts and your intuition is that this union that is being offered to you has a third party situation. Mm -hmm. 
Either they're involved with someone or there is someone else that is a decision maker here that you don't know about. There is something that is hidden. There is another, there's too many cooks in the kitchen, but that is what is being hidden from you in the deception and envy of the Seven of Swords and the lying of the Ace of Swords in reverse and the injustice of justice in reverse. That's what's being hidden from you. There is a third party situation of some sort associated with this deal. Okay. Heartache and loss with the three of swords. That's all this situation is going to bring you. The eight of wands in reverse. Hold off. Don't take action. Hangman in reverse. Resist. Resist to the Seven of Cups and be very, very careful about the decision that you make in this situation. Triumphant success with the Ace of Swords. Aha! I see it. I see it. I, I see the truth of this situation. The devil in reverse and I am going to put down my flesh and I am going to follow where my intuition is telling me to go three of swords in reverse and I'm not going to be sad about it not going to be sad about it at all I'm going to come to terms with any kind of grief or sorrow or pain that not taking this opportunity might bring into my mind and I am going to choose very very wisely in this situation page of cups to judgment that this offer is too good to be true because I know in my guts there is something fishy going on in the background okay the eight of wands this takes you to this new chapter up here with the world card it literally you doing this kinetically proactively checking in with your intuition and making a decision accordingly for your best and highest good and making the judgment call the decision to detach yourself from this and shut it down is literally the catalyst that shoots you into this next chapter of your life. They're like, bravo, let's do it. The high priestess following your guts, leading you, guiding you, showing the way to your true north. The king of cups, you knowing that you know that you know that you know that this feels right. It feels good. And I am not going to worry in my silly humanness about what it is that maybe I have missed out on up here. I am going to know that if I follow my intuition, even when it doesn't tell me what I want to hear, that all is going to be well. And in the end, I never really missed anything except for heartache, loss, despair, and disappointment. Nine of Pentacles, boom, standing in your power. Ten of Pentacles, puts you in a position of a great deal of foundation and stability. Perhaps turning this offer down, boom, the universe says, here you go, here's 10 of them. Not just this one up here, not just this three up here, here's 10, here's nine. Well-being, huge amounts of security and well-being. And this just turns you on. <laughs> it does. You're like, oh, I see what Dana's been talking about. I see, even though I want this and it looks good and it feels good and it's going to honor me or give me some kind of title or fulfill some kind of desire that I have. If I follow my, intu my intuitive red flags about this situation... I'm not really missing out on this at all because the universe is going to take me to a place of security and success, emotional fulfillment, happiness, success, vitality, and I'm going to level up into a brand new beginning and a brand new journey into a brand new cycle of my life. And look, the, the world and the universe, 21 and 21, 
This closes out a cycle of your life and gets you started on this consistent manifestation of your soul's guidance over and over and over again. You, you, you're going to get addicted to doing things this way because I'm telling you, if you will continuously put your flesh down, if it doesn't correspond with what your soul intuition is telling you, you will consistently be rewarded tenfold over tenfold over tenfold because your soul's path is the path of your best and highest good, not your flesh path, not up here in this flesh path. Okay, brand new cycle, the closure of an old cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. Why the eight of pentacles, eight of, I'm sorry, the eight of Trump, because you have overcome, you have overcome the flesh. You have overcome the nine of swords in reverse, despair and anxiety and painful lesson after painful lesson. The universe, this is mature, this is emotional maturing. It is understanding the seven of pentacles in reverse. If you keep doing things the way that you've always done them, you're going to continue to get them the way that you've always gotten them. Boom. And the way that you understand this and apply it to your life creates this massive, huge turning point that catapults you literally to the path of your best and highest good. It, it, it is amazing. Bottom of the deck, the devil, temptation. That's this flesh right here. Temptation, right? Patience. Patience, patience, patience. This is the temperance card. This card is about balancing and finding purpose in honoring yourself to the lovers. And it puts you in a position to energetically, vibrationally attract something better than this. To the fool again, brand new beginnings, brand new journeys, quantum leaps in your life, a gigantic leveling up of your spirituality. And that leads you to the nine of cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, nine of cups, 10 of cups, nine of pentacles, 10 of pentacles. I mean, it's beautiful. The world, the world, the wheel of fortune. This is a beautiful reading. So whoever this is for, when this opportunity, if it hasn't already presented itself, listen to your intuition and seek out source guidance above and beyond what your humanness would like to see from the situation and know that if you will go in the direction of your soul's path according to your intuition you will be rewarded tenfold for what it is you think think you might lose in your humanness. If you point your free will and your faith and your loyalty to source, they are going to show up and show out for you in a huge, gigantic way. I hope you all enjoyed that. Namaste.